Hi, I'm Phoebe. This is a map of the world and each of the seven coloured sections is called a continent. Here is my report about some of the ways people travel on the continent of Asia. My journey around Asia began in Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. Many people live in Bangkok and it's famous for its busy streets jammed with traffic. People in Thailand have come up with imaginative forms of transport to avoid traffic jams. The motorised tuk-tuk is a kind of taxi. It looks like a small three-wheeled motorbike with a carriage built over it to carry a driver and two passengers. Using a tuk-tuk is a great way to zip around the crowded roads as they can squeeze through gaps and weave around cars stuck in jams. The new tuk-tuks have cleaner engines which produce lower amounts of greenhouse gases. These tuk-tuks are better for the environment and for people. After exploring Bangkok, I travelled to another very busy city called Dakar, which is the capital city of Bangladesh in South Asia. Here, and in many Asian countries, they use cycle rickshaws to get around the busy city streets. A cycle rickshaw is similar to a tuk-tuk because it also has three wheels and carries two passengers. But a cycle rickshaw isn't motorised like a tuk-tuk. Instead, it runs on human power. The driver pushes pedals like riding a bike and pulls a cart with the passengers. Cycle rickshaws are low cost and don't produce pollution. Sometimes they are the only vehicles that can be driven down the very narrow streets in Dakar. There are so many rickshaws in Dakar that people have called it the rickshaw capital of the world. The people who drive rickshaws must be very fit, but it's a dangerous job. The roads are so busy there are often accidents. Rickshaws are a different and fun way for passengers to travel. They can now be found in lots of places around the world, including London, the capital city of England. The next stop on my Asia trip was Karachi in Pakistan. Many trucks and buses in Pakistan are highly decorated by their owners. Skilled artists decorate these amazing buses using red, orange, blue, green and yellow plastic cut into shapes such as hearts, diamonds and flowers. The shapes are then made into patterns, pictures or natural scenes. Other decorations dangle from the front and back bumpers. Flags, tassels and strings of beads hang from all parts of the vehicles. And they often play loud music. At night, the buses are lit up by tiny lights. There are normal buses and trucks in Pakistan, of course, but some owners really love decorating their vehicles to make them stand out, even though it takes a long time to do and is expensive. I then travelled east to Shanghai in China, where I was lucky to be able to travel on the high-speed Shanghai Maglev train. This is a very special high-tech train. It doesn't have wheels like a normal train. Instead, magnets are used to lift and move the train, and it runs along a guideline rather than a train track. Maglev means magnetic levitation. As it doesn't run on tracks, the train is very smooth, quiet and super fast. The top speed of the train is 431 kilometres per hour, 268 miles per hour, making it the world's fastest train. This is faster than any Formula One racing car. Maglev trains don't use fuel and only produce low amounts of greenhouse gases. So some people say they are better for the environment than aeroplanes. But maglev trains do use electricity to run. If the electricity is produced by power stations burning fossil fuels such as coal, this will add greenhouse gases to the environment. The last place I explored on my trip around Asia was Manila, the capital city of the Philippines in Southeast Asia. Here, the jeepney is one of the most popular forms of public transport. The original jeepney was a large vehicle recycled from American jeeps left behind after World War II. They are often brightly coloured and decorated and have open windows and doors. Many jeepneys are used as buses and can carry up to 30 passengers. But there are no bus stops for jeepneys to pick up passengers. The driver slows down and people just jump on and off. There are no timetables either. Drivers will often wait for a full load before setting off. Recently, a new environmentally friendly e-jeepney has hit the streets of Manila. These vehicles are charged by plugging into an electric socket using power generated from waste disposal. 
Many things are different in Asia compared to Britain. Food, the weather, and how much money lots of people have to live on. But many things are similar as well. People in both Asia and Britain need to travel around busy cities and towns jammed with traffic. And people in both Asia and Britain are thinking more about how they can make the way they travel less harmful to the environment. Asia is a very big continent and there are lots of other forms of transport to explore. I hope you enjoyed my Asia report. Maybe you can't get to school in a tuk-tuk or in an e-jeepney, but by thinking about the way you travel and by taking fewer car journeys, you can make a big difference to life on planet Earth.